When he starts off at 3.24.2, P2 passages dropped. Let's get straight into it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Alice. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys. So this one is essentially the Quantum Drive patch. CIG did mention um, yesterday that we'll be getting an update uh, pertaining to Quantum Drives, and this is the patch update. So under Features and Gameplay, under Gameplay, it says Quantum Travel Polish. It says we have made large adjustments to the quantum travel speed acceleration fuel storage use and prices in uh 3.24.2 that will help balance uh movement around the pu ship fuel tank sizes have been balanced across all ships to adjust for archetypes with uh, some getting less fuel and others being able to hold more Quantum drives have all been adjusted for fuel use, speed, acceleration to balance ship travel based on shorter and longer distance archetype. Cooldown times have not been adjusted. The thing with this is we have no way of seeing the differences between these two really in game, right? It's like we'll have to go to like third party websites to actually see, uh, you know, which one is better for which scenario. So like, CIG needs to include these things, right? Either include it in the patch note or have it in game where we could actually literally look at the component and see its actual benefits. Because in the quantum drive, when we look at quantum drive components, you, you really don't see those benefits, right? It's just a general description of, of of what it is essentially so i think uh, they need to do that so on the ships and vehicles it says cannon maximum ammo and regen balance pass has been done it says all sizes of cannons have had their regen rates and held ammo count reduced to balance against repeaters all right that's interesting okay it says here modified the ship default uh ship power distribution to allocate full power to most pools but less to triangle pools what does that mean i have no idea zeus art lighting and interaction polish pass has been done mft polish um added support for multiple pips uh connected together um it says greatly increased ship turret health pools they've reduced the a2 and the c2 held countermeasures they've added new textures and materials to holographic mfds and they've improved the prospect of radar grounding effects what is what is grounding effects do you guys know what that means let me know in the comments so weapons and items it says the carnal recoil pass has been done it says slightly increased the visual recoil adjusted recoil over time min starts uh, value from 0 0.5 to 0 0.75 increases horizontal aim recoil per shot from 0 0.033 to 0 0.05 Increased vertical aim recoil per shot from 0 0.26 to 0 0.345. There's a few bug fixes for this one. Uh, they fixed an issue where um, achieving a ship results and we are unable to deal with your request at this time and no ship. They fixed an issue where party leader not able to pull party members into the persistent universe. They fixed an issue refueling hydrogen takes players credit without refueling and will increase cost after purchase man what a ripoff they fixed an issue where weapon penetrate hall do multiple instances of damage they'll fix they fixed an issue where stand to start will be set as the first stop when setting a route they fixed an issue where the f7a mark 2 and an incorrect extra power plant they fixed an issue where the srb towing mode hud is offset and not facing the pilot they fix an issue where the, the chat window text becomes blurry in FPS HUD. They fix an issue where the vehicle tracked beam will not activate. They fix an issue where uh, the Corsair wing do not extend with the cycle configuration hotkey, but uh, work with the interaction prompt on dash. They fix an issue where there are portal and this area calling issues entering and leaving the Carrick medical Bed. They fixed an issue where the Valkyrie Liberator is missing from the vehicle selection in a list of movie glass, ASOP, and hangar. They fixed an issue where the Caterpillar Module 1 exterior open door is not interactable. They fixed an issue where the stock missile 
will be loose in the cargo bay when retrieving and accessing and this is for the constellation if it's an issue where the panel button disappears on the upper floor now this is for the 400i if it's an issue where elevator panels have bright blue background and narrow list and uh, column of buttons now this is for green circle uh, at the spaceport if it's an issue where a ship does not have an annunciator visible in the cockpit so now this is for the miss freelancer the fixing issue where players are unable to set the amount of rmc to buy um making purchases impossible the fixing issue where the fixing issue where missing constellation phoenix emerald elevator and cargo lift along with this nine client crashes one server crash fix and four deadlock fixes before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase One Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.